How annoying was that? Hmm? That's my new intro. Just kidding. Making sure you guys are awake. So welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me slash outfit of the day video. I'm going out tonight with some friends to the local bar, same one that we go to every night, Hala Bistro Latino. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to look my best and I'm going to show you how I do it. I have already moisturized and primed my face with my DDF Ultralight Moisturizing Dew and the Pixie Primer. And then I just did one quick layer of Chanel Vitalumir Aqua in the color 50 Beige, followed by MAC Prep and Prime just to kind of moisten the skin up, prepping my skin for the second layer of foundation. Now I'm not using too much, I am using very small little dabs in each area of my face, and of course I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers, and through the magic of editing, we're done. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight my face. I'm starting off with my forehead, and of course I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Medium. If you guys have any other recommendations for a good concealer to try, let me know in the comment bar down below. I'm just going to go in and highlight my nose and my under eye area, and I went way too heavy handed on that eye. As you can see, I'm literally trying to spread that as far as it can go because I put literally like a handful on it. Like I, I was crazy with my concealer today. And not doing too much of a better job on the other side. Try to do your makeup when you have more light out, guys. You'll kind of judge how much product you use better. I was like, oh no, it's not enough, it's not enough. And I just kept putting more on. Um, a little goes a long way, especially with that concealer. But you know me, I'll make it work out in the end. And that was just a little more MAC Fix Plus. I love using that after each layer of foundation just to refresh the face. And I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime CC Powder. This is a banana yellow powder. And I'm going to be applying that with a Bestope Flat Top Angled Kabuki Brush. These brushes are really great for this because they're pretty dense, but also very flexible. And they're synthetic bristles, so they also help soak up any excess concealer I have on my face. And as you can see, this powder is beautiful. It gives the most beautifully matte finish to the skin while still being dewy. I don't know how it does that. I still have a glow coming through my powder, and it looks not completely like chalky matte. It's just the best setting powder for concealer. I really, really recommend it. To contour, I'll be using the Jouer Matte Bronzer with my Sigma F40, and I'm just hitting that in the hollows of my cheekbones as well as the temples of my face, and then sweeping that up onto my forehead. I know the contour on my right side of my face looks super, super intense, but that is just because of the overhead lighting, and you guys know I do have defined cheekbones anyway, so it may just look super defined to some of you who are not familiar with my channel. The Sigma F40 is one of my favorite brushes for contouring because it is very small and you can be very precise with it. The only complaint I have about it is that it is a natural hair brush so that it soaks up product a lot. So I have to clean it all the time, otherwise it'll break out terribly. So I do wish it were synthetic, but hey, what can you do? Now I am giving myself a little bit of plastic surgery, so we are going in and completely changing my nose shape because I hate my nose. So we need to change that before I go anywhere where people will see me. And done. There's my new nose. To deepen my lower lash line, I'm taking the dark brown color from my Inglot palette. It doesn't have a color name. And I'm applying that with a MAC 219 pencil brush and then just blending that out with one of my Royal and Lang Nickel Crease brushes. I've already, bleh, oh my gosh, I've already curled my lashes, so I'm just going in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. I want very, very long lashes tonight, so I'm going to be going in with a lot, a lot, a lot of coats. And that being said, I can only use this mascara without fear of it clumping. So you'll see at the end that I have no clumps and it gives me the biggest lashes ever. I love, love, love this mascara and I could rave about it forever. 
I've gone through well over 20 tubes of it in my lifetime. To line my waterline, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Marker. This is a black felt tip waterproof liner. It is very waterproof. Um, it's extremely, extremely well formulated. The only complaint about the only complaint, oh my gosh, guys, the only complaint I have about it is the felt tip applicator. It gets clogged relatively soon after you use it, if you use it a lot. Uh, if you don't use it for water lining, then you probably won't have a problem, but I do because it's very waterproof. But um, it does tend to, like if you use it on your water line, it gunks it up a little bit. For my brows, I'm just brushing them out before filling them in with the Sigma Brow Powder Duo in the darkest shade. And I'm just brushing that through with an angled brush. This is a Royal & Magnical dual-sided spoolie and brow brush. And I'm just filling in the sparse areas, not changing the shape of my brows. And I will brush that out after I complete the second brow. I'm showing you more in depth my right brow because it is the brow that I am, it's easier to, for me to film, and I have to do the least amount of work on it currently. So that one I will show you in full, and then we'll speed through the left pretty quick. I'm sorry, I meant that the opposite way. My left brow is the one that requires less maintenance, so I wanted to show you the right to show you the whole process. Sorry, got that mixed up for a second. My left brow, the one I'm doing now, is my good brow, which usually is easier. And now that I have filled in both, I'm going to brush them both out. The reason I like doing this instead of brushing out as I go is because I can see them both at the same time, and I can see where I need to fill in more on each side. But you can do it either way. I guess it really doesn't matter. Do what you want, guys. Be your own makeup artist. And there are the brows. All finished. We're just going to seal them in with Anastasia's clear brow gel so they don't get all crazy. And to highlight the face, we are using... Oh my god, this is like baby's breath of life. It is the most beautiful highlighter of my lifetime. I will never stop using this. This is the Laura Mercier matte baked radiance highlighter it is not matte by any means i don't know why they call it that as you can see it gives the most beautiful frosted finish it's super sheer it does not look like glitter it can suit pretty much every skin tone unless you are super super ebony in skin tone but oh my god guys it is just the most beautiful powder Ugh, i've been using it on my brow bone down the center of my nose cupid's bow literally everywhere i want light because it is just fabulous. And I'm just going to do one final spritz of MAC Fix Plus just to set the rest of my face. And here is a before I've done my makeup and an after. I love this look. It is relatively natural. You, you can still tell you tried and you did your makeup, but it doesn't look over the top. Um, the contouring gave a little more structure to my face. And of course, I need to do my lashes because they are so tiny compared to other people's. And now it is time for the outfit of the day. This is a very interesting print shirt that I found from Zara. It has these weird little L boxes and a plaid collar, and I really like the contrast. It looks great with pretty much anything, and I really like it. Zara is definitely my favorite store right now, uh, especially now that I've been working in a semi-corporate, not really corporate, professional setting, rather. I have been needing a lot of dress shirts, and Zara has just had the highest quality shirts with the best designs for the best price. For my vest, I am wearing an H&M vest that I got a long time ago. Um, I don't even know what collection it's from or what year. I remember it was probably like $12, and it's lasted a really long time, and I quite like it. To go along with my black and white theme, I'll be wearing one of my black Louis Vuitton belts. This is a canvas belt with the logo embossed all around the side of the belt, and it has a very classic silver buckle with the Louis Vuitton logo. And yeah, I really love this belt. I think it goes well with everything, especially these jeans. This is my favorite pair of jeans from Denizen. This is a Target brand, I believe, and I have not found a pair of jeans that fit me better, so I was so happy that they were like $40. 
just bought these new shoes. They are from Calvin Klein. They were on clearance, so I'm assuming they're from last season. They are a black suede with gray stitching, and I did a little DIY and made the aglets rose gold, and I will have that DIY video coming up for you guys very soon, so stay tuned for that. And here's a close-up of the shoe. I love the shoe with the gray laces. I think it's very classic with a modern twist, and I really like how they look on as well. And last but not least is my jacket. I will be wearing a John Barbados jacket. This is not a full pea coat. It's not really, I guess it's more like a bomber jacket. No, it's not a bomber jacket. I don't really know how to describe this jacket, but it is a double zipper, so you can zip the bottom up a little bit. It has buttons as well, which you can unbutton if you'd like. And that concludes my outfit of the day and MOTD. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me and... Have a wonderful evening. I'm going to go out and have a little fun with my friends, and I'll catch you next time. Bye ya. The handles are just so nice to hold. You just feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is how Charlotte Tilbury and Coco Chanel do their makeup every day with just beautiful high end brushes. You know, it makes you feel like.